think it's gone the wrong direction. Thank you, Dave. Well done. Here at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre in Stratford-upon-Avon, the Royal Shakespeare Company is rehearsing its first family show since moving back into the theatre following a major refurbishment last year. It's called The Heart of Robin Hood, and it's an unusual new take on the popular legend, written by the playwright David Farr, and directed by the Icelandic actor and director Gisleon Gardason. Gardason originally trained as a gymnast, and his company Vestor Port are known for their acrobatic productions and spectacular set designs. His collaboration with the Royal Shakespeare Company promises to be every bit as physical and exciting. He's not a typical Robin Hood. He steals from the rich and doesn't really give back to the poor. Um, he's quite aggressive and quite lonely and, and, and just extremely vulnerable. He's not, he's not got the same sort of... Um, He's not like as blasé as some of the Robin Hoods I think have been portrayed in the past. But he does become, through Marion's help, he becomes very sort of heroic. He's, he's the complete opposite of what you're used to. Um, I was watching the Errol Flynn last night, just, <laughs> just for some research. And um, it was really funny. He, he's the, that's the dream for Marion when she first goes into the forest to meet the Errol Flynn guy who's, you know, going to just sort everything out, his, his uh, knight in shining yeah. armour, and then she's faced with the polar opposite of that. Yeah. This grungy, dirty, little hood rat who's just like <laughs> that with a sword. No! Ah! <laughs> Did you doubt me? <laughs> oh, why it's then that? up to her to find it within herself, to sort herself out and to look after herself, which yeah. I think is really... It's, it's great because it's not like she's not the damsel in distress. I've come to deliver you from your chains. No, oh, where's Marion? Uh, she said you had no further need of her. Come I am the co director and uh, director of movement. Actually, uh, Gisli Ertgarason, our director, he's absent at the moment. Uh, he went to Iceland to have his second baby, so I'm in charge while he's away. As a movement director for this show, um, it's quite stylized. So for example, I've been working with the actors creating the animals and we don't like just put on a costume to interpret the animals. We use, we use instruments and physic, you know. So for example, we have, um, we have a duck that plays the trumpet. And so she walks with the trumpet and plays that. We have also, we have horses with bells around the ankles and they play the trombone. And so they run and they play the trombone and also we, they do trot. So we've been working on that. They trot like this happens in the forest so we use ropes to climb on you know to interpret the trees we have the English oak and we use birds sitting on there playing their instruments we have a slope a 12 meter high slope that we slide on and climb up the ground the signs of battle everywhere scour the forest and find them the first time I came down the slide was just amazing on on the in my first, the first, on the first preview, I, they all clapped, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Because I almost went in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> so I've kept that in. It's just so dynamic, you know, it's such a dynamic, people come up from the stage, they come from the ceiling, they come from the audience, there's nowhere to settle and rest. For people to be able to imagine themselves in different settings, it's, it's handy to have music to, to colour those images. Ah. I mean, if you're in a forest, there's never silence, you know, so it's very hard to believe that you're in a forest if there's silence. Will you come back to me? Will you come back to me? Will you come back to me? My love, my love. It's a really good way for young people to sort of come here and uh, mm. and see that theatre can be real. It's a real adventure. I will fetch him now. Well, I'll help you. No, I will bring him here. What, Murray? What?